This video is a summary of intermediate man tracking techniques in desert regions gained from over 40 years of working as an exploration geologist and 20 years with search and rescue. Tracking can be thought of as solving a puzzle utilizing clues. The puzzle being, where is the lost person? Or in our geologic work, where is the other geologist? Use everything to aid your effort, including visual and non-visual clues. Visual clues include tracks, vegetation, discarded items, smoke, flushed out game, and non-visual clues include sounds such as gunshots, whistles, or persons yelling, smells such as campfire, perfume, human waste, and even the smells of a decaying body. To begin man tracking, first you need to acquire a track. It might be the search for a hiker that started from a known trailhead, a child who was playing around a campsite, a dementia patient that walked away from a caretaker, or a fellow team member that we just needed to locate. In many cases, the man tracker must identify the track of interest from many in a disturbed area and follow that track to its resolution. To identify the track of interest, use description of subject shoes from friends or family, a track found around subject's vehicle, pictures of the shoe tread, see our presentation on emergency situations, what do you do, on our wildernesscommonsense.com website. To assist in identifying tracks of interest, the searcher may need to recognize which tracks are too old and can be discarded and which are recent. This is called indexing or age dating. The most recent track is on top of the older track. This may or may not be the track you are looking for. For example, if friends had been running around looking for a lost child, their recent tracks may not be the one you are looking for. Weather and windy conditions will degrade tracks, making them appear old. Recent tracks have sharp edges while older tracks have rounded edges. Animal tracks will be on top of older tracks. This usually happens during the night. Tracks on top of ant hills where the hill is not rebuilt are generally less than two hours old. If the track of interest is mixed with others in a disturbed area, start circling the area to identify an outgoing track. Do not leave the area if an outgoing track isn't found. The person of interest could still be in the area, hiding, hidden from view, or in a structure, or has been abducted. We were involved in several searches where the search coordinator expanded the search area, even though outgoing tracks weren't found. Time and manpower were lost when the subject was actually still in the area. The subject, who had been sleeping, hiding or some other factor was later found by others in the initial area of interest. Circle the area of interest that has been disturbed until an outgoing track of the subject is found. Mark the location of first track with surveyors flagging and start tracking. Keep tracking basics in mind. Sun direction. Trackers should be looking toward sun for best track view. Circle every fourth or fifth track to maintain the pattern or direction, and use surveyors flagging to mark important points along track. The first track, last track found, changes in direction, etc. When you identify the tracks of the person you're looking for, circle them. So they're easy for others to find, so they're not destroyed, and so you can return to the marked tracks in the event you lose the track further along. Here are two views of the same track. With the sun behind the searcher, the track on the left is barely visible, even though circled. Looking toward the sun, the track on the right is clearly visible. The track is also circled. Sun angle is very important. The tracker might have to walk to the sides and slightly in front of tracks to get the sun at the correct angle. When tracks are easy to follow, searchers can move fast. 
When tracks become difficult, advance with caution. One might need to walk to one side and slightly in front of tracks to keep best sun angle. Remember to mark your tracks with a stick drag to prevent other searchers from following your tracks thinking they belong to the lost person. Trained search and rescue trackers will identify tracks with a stick drag as not belonging to the lost person. There will be occasions when the track is lost. Mark the last track found with flagging. Try to use the subject's stride by the marks on your tracking stick made when the track was first found. We suggest you review basic man tracking from our website. If there's hard pan or rocks and next track can't be found, look for gates to direct your search or make circles until the track is acquired. Focus on track traps. If you lose track in a rocky area, look for gates, openings where the hiker is forced to go. In dry brush, look for mashed or shiny areas at the stride distance of the lost person. In this picture, the tracks are visible as disturbances in the dry brush. As you track, try to determine why the subject is going in the direction they're going. Are they trying to find a high point to acquire cell signal? If at night, is there a glow from city lights? Do they appear to have a general idea of where they are headed, a general target such as a highway? Are they walking in circles and have no clue where they're Clues gathered from tracks might tell a story. Large spaces between tracks suggest the subject is running. Are they scared, being chased by someone or something? A drag mark from one or both feet suggests the subject is injured or having medical or physical problems. Do the tracks show places where they shuffle and go in circles, indicating the subject doesn't have a destination in mind? The tracks tell a story that could help to locate the subject. A good tracker uses everything they can to resolve the emergency. In summary, be sure to acquire track before expanding initial search area. Maximize visibility of tracks by maintaining best sun angle. Use all clues, visual and non-visual, to track. Circle every fourth or fifth track as you progress. Flag important tracks, such as the first track, last track found, or changes in direction. Use stick drag to notify other searchers that yours is not the track of interest. If the track is lost, use gates, track traps, and subjects assume destination to help direct your efforts. This is the end of the presentation. Please visit our website, www.wildernesscommonsense.com. Thank you.